Yo, what is going on, you wannabe Weeping Bells? That's right, I topped another tournament with another Mewtwo deck, and it's the Rillaboom Mewtwo. Uh, and this list originally came from uh, Stefan Ivan. Also, shout, shout out to Stefan. <clears throat> but I made a couple changes that I didn't end up actually playing in the tournament because I submitted the wrong list from what I wanted to play. So this is the list I wanted to play, um, but still getting top four with a list that I didn't intend to play uh, and getting a round one loss because I <laughs> submitted the wrong list. Uh, and then bringing it all the way back to a top four is still pretty cool so uh the list that i ended up i did play for the tournament was minus one cricket tune plus one marnie minus one weakness guard energy plus one grass but i did want to play the cricket tune and i did want to play the extra weakness guard energy i'm more sold on cricket tune in this deck than i am the actual weakness guard energy but the second the second weakness guard energy seems really good right now because of how much mewtwo there is in the format and actually just like kind of like psychic pokemon dragapult stuff like that so uh the idea behind the weakness guard energy is solid I haven't tested it out though i don't know how much i'm gonna miss an extra grass energy in the deck because that could be a pretty big hit overall to be honest so and then cricket tune i love i absolutely love in this deck um i definitely would play the cricket tune so we're the one card i'm trying to figure out if i want to keep is the weakness guard energy but um but yeah the list I, I ended up playing for the tournament was minus one cricket tune plus one marnie minus one weakness guard plus one grass not the list i want to play still got top four um so can't really complain right still got top four uh even with a round one loss because of my deck being incorrect <laughs> which I feel like shouldn't I've been playing this game for a long time. I feel like that shouldn't happen to me in tournaments, but it happened. Um, but, uh, you know, we move on. But yeah, it is just the, the Rillaboom Mewtwo. Like I said, original list coming to us from Savan Ivanov. Nothing really too crazy. Um, and I'm sure most of you have seen this, but if you haven't, the point of this deck is to, you know, use the super growth. We set up the Rillaboom. Um, and unlike just kind of the Rillaboom Rallon Executor decks that have been around for a long time, this one adds in that Mewtwo, which and with coming with the Mewtwo, you get the Psychic typing. So you get Psychic take advantage of psychic weakness up against stuff like urshifu we also get access to a bunch of attacks that can have a huge impact on the game the violent plume with the massive bloom for just two energy can be a big deal uh the elegant soul the 190 from elegant soul is actually crazy impactful uh in so many matchups in so many situations that's probably the most impactful attack to come out of the uh attack options from the mewtwo and of course you could play this in the normal like rillaboom rally on executor but they have to attack with puzzle Faramosa. no one wants to do that um, and then you got the Dragonite, um, which was huge in the tournament specifically that I played in, but this one is a little bit more hit or miss. I feel like it doesn't always come into play with the Sky Judgment, but when it comes into play, it'll make you never want to cut the Dragonite ever again, because when you get those Sky Judgment, uh, big knockouts on stuff, it's, it's huge, game-changing. Um, and then, of course, we have the Incineroar in here, which mainly in here for the Darkest Tornado, almost as kind of like just like to scare our opponent more so than anything, because when our opponent knows we play this, they sometimes just won't attack our Mewtwo and try and work around it, but... That makes it harder and more awkward for them to play the game so that's also good for us and the crushing punch against decks that have a a lot of special energy stuff like orbital can be super super powerful so we also have that incineroar in here uh to help up the crushing punch is great darkest tornado great and that is that's it that's a rilla boom mewtwo let's get into some games all right let's get it going into our first game we did win the coin flip and we don't want to go first because we want to use the super growth on our first turn there's always a possibility that we're up against a deck that does want to uh go second there's a lot of those out there pika Rams, some fire decks stuff like that and we'll actually get a look at what our opponent is playing here it's urshifu rapid strike oh no dragapult rapid strike with octillery because they have the tower of waters which means they play octillery it was important to take note of that all right so it's a fine matchup nothing too bad nothing too good they could stamp us turn one so i am going to bench this because we did get those extra mulligans i don't know which route i want to take on you know, mute. I'd probably, I mean, I could get the weakness card for the Mewtwo, but they probably play Fan of Waves. So, because it looks like they're playing Octillery because they do have that, that tower in there. So, we might just want to go Rowlet alone Executor off the start, but weakness card energy and the Mewtwo would be very powerful. But we probably just go with the Rowlet alone Executor off the start. I might even put the second one in play, which I'm not the most keen on doing, to be honest, but definitely wouldn't be bad. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we progress into this game here. I kind of like want to bench the Mewtwo, but I kind of don't. And just like using calming hurricane early on is like all we really need to do so a little bit torn i want to do we could just like set up two rattling executors and start swinging and healing uh, i'll probably keep the cherish ball around to find it a dead to be honest because we do want to use mountain lana next turn so unless we top deck a tag call i'll probably just like guzman hollow away the mewtwo and excuse me the mewtwo and something else i don't know what else i would get rid of to be honest but i'll get rid of something else and uh Thought I was gonna sneeze again. Not quite. Um, the Mewtwo and something else. I'm it's coming back. Alright, we're good. There's the Urshifu. Yep, there it is. And I doubt they'll put 
I mean, they, if they play Jirachi GX, which they probably do, they might put it in play. They also might not, and they might just play Mimikyu. I'm actually going to hold on to it. So that kind of tells us that they probably have a calm in their hand, to be honest. There's another Grookey, which we don't really need. So I could just go Guzman Hala away the Mewtwo and the Grookey. Because um, like extra Riddle Boom doesn't really do a whole ton for us. So we could just go with that. That seems fine to me. Keeps the Cherish Ball around to maybe Dead Change to try and find him out on Lana. Uh, we do want something we can pivot with. We could go like this. Get rid of yeah, the Mewtwo and the Grookey. We can always recover the Mewtwo later on. Um, so go ahead and get ourselves a capture. We can capture out the Cricketune, hopefully. There it is. Cricket. Um, and get an air balloon for it, maybe. Get his chaotic swell. Seems pretty good to kind of stifle their uh, potential to put stadiums in play. Although it might not be that big of a deal, to be honest. Could capture out the cricket. I guess we should. I should also check to make sure we have. Yeah, we got the little boom line in here. Always good to check that stuff. Did prize triple grass. That's not good. Um, so we're down a Marnie. I may as well grab the cricket right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab the cricket. I'm not going to air balloon it, though, because I could do a play escape rope or boss or something. I might want to put the air balloon, like, here or something like that. Which actually makes me want to bench this, because if they did escape rope, I think I'd want to set up this, actually. Um, yeah, if they escape rope, I think I'd want to set up this over anything else. Feels best. Hold the air balloon. Growth. Get out. The Rillaboom line. And, uh, yeah, we're set up. We're established. Let's see what our opponent has on their turn. Um, and yeah, see if we can find Malamana. Malamana is, like I said, a huge deal in this matchup, the Malamana. Let's see if we can find it. Big Charm would have also been reasonable, but to play around boss or escape rope, I think we want to hold on to this air balloon uh, and get an air balloon over something like that, uh, that big charm. Because we're not guaranteed Malamana next turn, even if I want to find it. So yeah, and if they play escape rope, I don't really want to send up this for them to just get a big punch on or send up this. Although if they punch this, like if they punch anything, we could just Malamana it theoretically. So it wouldn't be terrible to be honest, but, and they're giving up on the Urshifu. Uh, they know I play Mewtwo now for sure. And we can always like recover and get it in play. And the really cool thing about this build of a Mewtwo deck is it's really easy. Yeah, there's that. There's that. <laughs> there is that. That's the kind of thing we don't want to see. We do want to mount a lot of this because we don't want it to get KO'd off the bench. Um, yeah, we do want to mount a lot of our Rillaboom. So we're going to go top deck, mount a lot of. Caitlyn Cynthia as well alongside that. Use the voltage beats. Grab a couple grass. Throw them here. Air balloon here. Um, capture energy here. Because we do want a GX attack next turn, I think. Let's we'll throw that there. Grab nothing. Malamana away. Marnie. And I'm thinking... Um, could grab something to thin out i guess but i i don't need access to the dene when we know probably like thin out I don't know, crushing punch seems like maybe the best option to have around all right I'll go like this get rid of these two yeah having access to the dene doesn't matter too much when we don't have another malamon in the deck to dig for to be honest so it's not that big of a deal we're gonna caitlin and cynthia next turn to try and get uh, <clears throat> Caitlyn and Cynthia next turn to recover a Malamana to have more Malamana for the future. But like us going with, what was I saying? Uh, us going like data change to try and found, find a Malamana that doesn't exist, doesn't make a whole ton of sense. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. No sense to go data change to find a Malamana. That's not in the deck. So don't need to keep onto the Cherish Ball for that. So may as well just grab something and thin that out. The Incineroar seemed okay. Uh, we definitely don't want to like grab the Bustle Feramosa because we can find that a little bit easier through other means so didn't need to grab that this hand is all right we could grab eldegoss here actually go and Elden go eldegoss malamana and this is why the cricketune is so good we play so many cards such as like discard cards from our hand mainly the attack hall supporters but they're so powerful in this deck when we use them may as well get an advantage by you know putting our hand down to like one or two cards and drawing a couple extra cards with that exciting stage also protection against uh reset stamp in the late game and also like it's not very it's not protection against marnie but if your opponent marnies you to four and they're kind of all dead or i guess you drop decks is five they're kind of not great but you can play down a couple of them and then cricketune for a couple and then maybe that doesn't get you out of the dead draw yet but on the next turn you kind of do the same thing you can really set yourself up into a pretty good spot pretty quickly so it definitely makes a difference to uh to have around to have around for sure uh here comes that max phantom so we're getting hit here I don't want to use Mal and Lana, to be honest. Once again, if, if as long as Eldegoss is in the deck, which to be honest, I don't know whether it is or isn't. 
um but we got plenty of targets to get rid of here i want to keep a mewtwo around because now they're setting up the urshifu uh yeah now they're setting up the urshifu so we want to be able to knock that out with a mewtwo potentially um but i can quick wall away this grab goss if it's in there goss for malo and lana once again it's gonna be in a great spot they could ko my rillaboom next turn no because we can shuffle the energy back in the deck grab the malo and lana once again and i'm gonna leave the bench space open i think because i think it's more beneficial to have the bench space open than it not to like potentially dead a change if they reset stamp us or something like that so i'm gonna leave the bench space open then some more grass out once again down to one card in hand cricket in the active with the air balloon air balloon also so easy to find because we use guzman hollow so frequently and it's once again just like a, such a good card in the deck like uh, cricket is the best <laughs> tropical hour yeah if, if they reset samples or marnius into a dead hand i kind of want the bench space open i'm kind of regretting benching this i'm not gonna lie um the way it was going we weren't really pressured to have another attacker anytime soon so you know to be honest i probably didn't need to bench this pokemon i just kind of did it and now nah, i'm definitely regretting it not gonna lie i am regretting benching down this other rattle on executor but hasn't hurt us too much yet so we're still in a very good spot but it definitely is eating up our bench space at this point and probably was unnecessary to bench when i benched it so something to look back on is something i could have maybe not done uh, until i really needed to until my opponent was really pressuring my rattle on executor i probably didn't need to put what's it called on the bench uh, but yeah here we go the urshifu is set up from our opponent they're about to swing with it but we, we got the mewtwo still we have a bench space open we have mewtwo I'm not afraid of this Urshifu at all. And we could theoretically just win the game next turn pretty handily. Uh, retreat and attach and then Rillaboom some energy onto the Mewtwo and that's it. I would maybe retreat Ordinary Rod. I don't think. I think I have two grass left in the deck. We'll see. It's, that's five, six, seven, eight. It's possible I don't. I know I checked a couple of my prize cards earlier, but I have no idea what they were, to be honest. So... Uh, <laughs> I might use the ordinary rod first just to make sure and that's only if they attack with this because they haven't even attacked yet so who knows if they're gonna attack um there's a marnie so a little bit of hand disruption coming out that will send this grass back to the bottom which if we draw into one of the weakness guard energies oh i only play eight grass in here now i was like thinking i played nine i only play eight so we could definitely whiff there's a weakness guard though gusman hollow doesn't do anything for us cherish ball find us the mewtwo but i don't know how many grass are in the deck so we'll play the cherish ball first check and then if there is two grass in the deck we got the dock out if not I'm gonna just have to swing for the turn probably and be okay with that i don't love that idea but i don't think we have another choice attach to mewtwo maybe put some energy on the mewtwo all right let's see if we have game or not here oh actually we don't have an attacker in the in the discard pile either that could even utilize that could do enough damage to ko this through mewtwo we need like the buzz we don't have it so i'm gonna play this first Oh, wait okay so we could grab vile plume discard vile plume with caitlin and cynthia and then draw into an out there is three grass in the deck okay so i think we do that grab the plume caitlin and cynthia get rid of the plume grab the mal and lana and then draw into a way to get the mewtwo we had a lot left so it's very likely we hit one of them there boom there's mewtwo this is why we got such a good Urshifu matchup. We can create the Mewtwo basically out of nowhere super consistently. Welder decks can kind of do the same thing, but not as consistently as the Rillaboom. If the Rillaboom is set up, there has to be such a big fear of just getting KO'd by the Mewtwo. And here it is, the massive bloom. I was like, wait a second. I just had to make, I was like, did I have a draw chain on the bench? No, they don't. And we get a dub over the Rapid Strike. All right, here we go again. My opponent this time chose for us to go first. Our opening hand is extremely good though. And we'll see what we're up against. How it's gonna go down i'm hoping they're not playing adp because there's a chance they turn one mawile us which is really scary uh, i don't want to get turn one mawile that doesn't sound very nice or fun or good at all it turns out it's dragapult oh no we open the mewtwo which isn't great and we do have the weakness guard energy but our hand like needs us to get a capture energy so we could get like an air balloon retreat into a rattle alone executor here actually that's probably what we're gonna do top deck a quick we got the quick ball now so now we don't have to um so i could go like but they could play energy disruption as well. So I kind of want to play the Guzmahala here and get to the bench. Yeah, I think it's just going to be the safest play overall. So let's go with that. I'm going to grab these two. Um, let's see. The line's there. Air balloon, capture energy. All right, we're all good on that. I want Guzmahala away. Puzzle Feramosa. And... Hmm... That's the question. What else do we actually get rid of here? 
Maybe the weakness is the... I'm actually kind of leaning towards the weakness guard energy to get rid of here. I'll also get rid of these two, though. It's in the hand, so it's so convenient to utilize the weakness guard energy at this point. So I think I'm going to go like this. Stadium. Capture. Air balloon. Okay. We could actually go with the Wonders Labyrinth, and it's possible my opponent can't attack on the next turn for the big damage that they would like to. So I think we go with that, actually, instead. Bench this. Oops. Bench this. Capture here. Um, and we could have got the air balloon on the cricket tune, but I don't think it was worth not getting this music out of here. And we could have, like, you know, maybe attached the capture to the active because we got the Wonders Labyrinth, but, like, that's risky. They can definitely replace our stadium this turn. So, not worth the risk. The rest of the hand is still really nice as well. And if they just hit our active, we can go, like, Mao and Lana away. Maybe the Weakness Guard energy plus the top deck. Uh, and then just go full heal, calming Hurricane Swing. And we're kind of going to be in the same situation we were just up against against that last Dragon Ball deck. Calming Hurricane on our second turn into turn three. The Tropical Hour GX. Take away all your energy. Goodbye. Um, but yeah, we'll wait and see what they get this turn. They need the Dragon Ball VMAX. They need the extra energy. Uh, and most importantly, they need that stadium to make sure they can do... Okay, they got it. <coughs> yep. All right. They got it. All right. Fine. Uh, but VMAX and energy, they still need those to actually pull off a big attack this turn. Otherwise, we don't have to even worry about using Mal and Lana this turn because it's just not going to be relevant. Uh, the one thing I would so I really want to get the weakness guard energy here, but I also really want to get the six energy on the following turn. I think that's a little bit more important, so I'll probably attach the weakness guard energy to the active, especially because I'm mean, gonna uh energy disruption is usually played in the deck. Stuff like Giratina or Crushing Hammers, Fan of Waves, they got like all this energy disruption stuff. Yell Grunt even sometimes pops up. Um, so a little bit worried about that. Uh, as being something that my opponent's playing, so want to play around that a little bit or as much as possible tool jammer okay don't see that very often if ever but now i can't actually pivot can't actually pivot out but it shouldn't matter i don't think i do want to heal but i can't huh it's become most awkward we will heal we'll have 170 hp left which is more than enough to survive the next max phantom i guess which is what we should just go for yeah not being able to that stinks though not being able to pivot there to be honest that does that tool who what tool jammer that feels like such a scam i don't know um good caitlin and cynthia to just draw cards i don't really feel like i need to let me just go attach and swing uh, and if they really want to chase my mewtwo and take those prize cards they can kind of go for it um they did put one on my mewtwo and then it put five here so they can't boss kale rillaboom uh, to be honest, I was thinking about, well, they do probably play Zigzagoon because of the net. To be honest, maybe I should have gone Guzm Hollow for a big charm to protect my Rillaboom. And then if they boss bring that up, we can Mount Lana it out just to heal it. But it turns out they're dead draw. And <laughs> so we get the dub. Another Dragon Ball down. Business as usual for the Rattle World Executor. All right, here we go again. This time my opponent chooses to go second and our hand is bad. Um, it's not the worst thing ever. It's just like not what we want to see. It's not the worst thing ever, though. We can definitely survive. We'll see what our opponent's playing. Oh, v. Maybe up against that greens, Coco VMAX. We'll see. I want to grab these two. Um. Hmm. One Mewtwo surprised. Could just go for these two. Actually, to be honest, which is probably just going to be a little bit better. Yeah. All right, we'll go for it. Bench, attach, and pass. We can go Gus Mahala for capture energy and air balloon next turn. Capture out the rookie. I and mean, we'll see what our top deck is. We don't have a ton of great options to Gus Mahala away, though, is what I'm thinking here. Uh, go to a weakness guard, probably, plus maybe the top deck. Um, and then we have to attach, we decide whether we want to put the air balloon on the Dedenne. We can put the capture, get the rookie retreat. That's another option. Depends on what we top deck, of course. And I mean, it's possible we Gus Mahala away both weakness guards, which feels a little bit bad but we might just have to do it um we'll see what our opponent does just a spike draw for my opponent i think they probably are playing there's a lot of card draw to be honest maybe we do want a marty now um not really though right so some holla now i'm feeling like just getting rid of two grass because we did just draw into it uh ordinary rod and we, so it makes it like super smooth to like play it this way i feel like this capture and let me just check yeah real boom lines here air balloon Extra energy in play doesn't feel that necessary on the Rattle on Executor. 
So for the sake of keeping the air balloon around, I think I'm gonna go like this and just keep the air balloon around. Cause they could do something weird where they, they just boss on my Rillaboom next turn, which is like really annoying. And I don't want them to do that. And I want to have an out to it if they do do it. So I also don't feel the need to put the chaotic spell in play, to be honest. Um, Cause if they are running power plants, we want to be able to bump those later on so we can use Mewtwo. So I just grab it. Um, and I don't think it was worth grabbing the Wondrous Labyrinth either, even though I could have put that in play. I guess I maybe could have done that, I guess. But I didn't feel the, that doesn't feel necessary either. So then we just chill. We just hold it. <clears throat> yeah, there's the green. So it is the greens, Coco. Here comes Boltoned. Here comes an Electrify. Um, but we're going to get off a Calming Hurricane next turn. Then we can follow up with that Tropical Hour GX and remove all their energy from play and make them really start from scratch once again. So that'll put us in a really good spot. They have a nice big hand to work with, which you can take away with Marnie next turn as well. And then off to the side, Swell or Nah. If I top that Cricketune or Quick Ball, definitely putting the air balloon on my Cricketune for future uh but yeah really depends on what my opponent does here and uh how we want to react to it or respond to it whatever um we'll see i mean to put like a power play play definitely throwing my swell out but i doubt they're gonna grab a power plant here probably all right quick ball evolution incense quick ball for sure to get bolted i was assuming i guess they could have drawn into it off the spike draw but one thing i was guessing and then uh Went with the evolution sense, so they're gonna get they're gonna get out of Coco V Max's turn. Um and yeah, Electrify is on the way. Well, like I said, we can reduce that hand size, so they built up quite a big hand. Actually, it's gonna go down quite a bit. It's only eight cards now, but we can reduce it a little bit. Um yeah, evolution sense, so only seven cards now. It's getting smaller and smaller. Uh <laughs> it's maybe not as necessary for me to like Marnie them anymore, but I need more cards. I want to see more cards, so we're definitely gonna do it. And the big question is just do I put the air balloon in play? Do I put the swell in play? I don't think I want to put either of these in play. Unless I top deck Cricketune, and then I'd put the air balloon in play. But a pivot is really important for us to be able to use Malamana. So who knows? Maybe I will put on the Dedenne. Um, Because it just is so important to make sure we can pivot. And it's best on Cricketune, but to be honest, it's, make, it's important to make sure we can pivot. There's a grass, so. Throw these on my Rallo Executor. Attach a weak guard. Keep the swell, I think. Kind of scared of power plant. They can like throw out a different stadium and then throw out the power plant. And then we just wouldn't. I could have Wonders Labyrinth as a comeback, but I might want to use my Mewtwo. Or I might not be able to get that much energy on my Mewtwo to use what I want to use. So it feels a little bit better. There's the Cricketune, but we also have an energy in hand, so I'm just going to hold off on doing anything. I will bench Cricketune. Um, I'm just going to hit that Common Hurricane. The Tropical Hour seems really, really good against my opponent's deck. So I'm going to wait to Tropical Hour here for sure. Because it does just seem so good. Like they're a little bit slow on getting the energy out. Uh, so if we can just reset them. It's going to be a big deal for us. And they could get a boss KO on my Rillaboom, but they would need, like, energy, switch card, boss, three of five. And they're they're playing a green stack, so they don't have that Dead of Change or that Crobat or even Eldegoss. I mean, there's no boss in here right now, but you know, theoretically, they don't have any of that to work with. So that's, like, super strong for us. We could also theoretically could wait a turn to GX attack. So if I go, like, Calming Hurricane plus Maladana on this turn, which I definitely could go Dead of Change to try and find, uh, we could do that. The problem with that is then we get paralyzed, which I'm kind of scared of. <laughs> we get paralyzed. And if we don't have another Mount Mana, so if we have both Mount Manas in the deck, it would be an okay play, I think. But I think that really is dependent on that is do we have both Mount Manas in the deck? Uh, and the answer right now is I don't know because I didn't check my prize cards. <laughs> so we'd have to figure that out for at first. Um, but once we figured that out, we kind of go from there, I guess, a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that would be the important thing is do we have both Malamonas? And if we do, going Calming Hurricane here is so much better because at least for the Rattle Executor, Rattle Executor does not two hit KO the Tapu Koko VMAXs with back to back um, Calming Hurricanes. There's actually a fan. They got greens and fan off their greens. So they're very content with their hand here because they're just like, uh, a little bit of disruption. And yeah. So we'll probably go with the Tropical Hour here, to be honest, and try and save the Malamonas around for later. Keep those around. So this will be important in the late game when we're getting paralyzed and we need to make sure we can move our Pokemon around. Um, so I'll probably just go with the Tropical Hour here. And if I find a Malamon, I'll heal because they're going to hit me. They actually put another Bolton down. This makes me want to use just the Calming Hurricane. But I do need a Malamon this turn if I do the Calming Hurricane. So I think we're pretty much locked in on the GX attack. Kind of running out of Grass Energy, I'm not going to lie. Only one Grass left in the deck. All right. Got some options. Could hit this for 200 instead, or even this. Hmm. Options for sure. Don't need the Mount Lana for GX attacking though. Okay, so let's go with this. Get ourselves. What is probably going to be the biggest? Uh, getting a special energy could be a big deal. So we're going to grab this. 
We fall this away. Grab the Mewtwo. We do lose access to Eldegoss because of bench space, but we don't really have any that that many important supports in the discard pile. I do want to try and set some stuff up here. Uh, Big Charm. I mean, it's good on this. It's good on Mewtwo. Which one is the best on? How much HP do you have left? 110. Let's beef him up a little bit. Swell could go out here. A little bit awkward, though. Let's go ahead and throw it out. What do I want to hit? That's what I want. That's the question is, what do I want to hit? I kind of want to KO the other Bolton. I could KO this, though, and then go KO this, KO Bolton. But I can't want to KO this Bolton. But that would be pretty good, actually, the more that I'm thinking about it. Go after this before it can evolve. I kind of like the idea of it, so let's see how it works out. Definitely don't want to do 200 damage to this thing, though. That's incorrect every single time. So here we go. Tropical Hour GX. Get all their energy back into the deck. They're going to have to re-electrify to reset up. And to be honest, we don't have to KO this Coco anymore. We can just go get through a Bolton, get through a Bolton. That's it. That's the game. So that can kind of be our game plan from here on out uh, as to how we're going to take this one down. Uh, we'll see what else our opponent throws at us. Of course, they're not done yet uh, and still have plenty of plays and options to make. Uh, there's one power plant. This is why I was scared of putting that swell in play. Uh... <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I was scared of putting this well in play because my opponent could do that. And then they could have another power plant. And then I just can't use Mewtwo anymore. And that would stink. We do have a Wonders Labyrinth left in the deck to be able to take advantage of. So we have that going for us still. So that can still bump a power plant. But we can only bump one. And if they have another one after that, that's it. We're done. Um, or if it just makes it awkward for us to attack with the Mewtwo even, which could definitely happen, to be honest. Once again, we're kind of in a bad spot. We have to hope that doesn't happen. And ho yeah, hopefully it doesn't happen, to be honest. Uh, we can Malamana this turn to heal this Rowland Executor, which is what we're probably going to do and start loading up this Mewtwo. Um, so we'll just Malamana, probably away the Guzmahala and the Mewtwo. Uh, might even grab like a Caitlyn Cynthia or the second Malamana to work with as well. And we're just going to punch this Bolton. And our opponent's like not in that good of a spot, to be honest, because they got a lot of damage in play, no energy in play. They're not going to put pressure on me. So once they ramp up, I feel like we're in a pretty bad spot, but we've definitely delayed that with the Tropical Hour, which has put us in a really good spot overall. Good. There's an escape rope. Not too worried about that. That's actually an interesting grab for my opponent. I'd be surprised to see them play it because I would just send up to Dene. Maybe they have a tool scrapper in hand. They're like, all right, if they send up to Dene, I tool scrap. Looks like they're just holding it for the future turn. Looks like they like the idea of it on the next turn then maybe instead. Does this thing have free retreat? No, it's got one. Okay, so I, th I thought I did. Uh, I thought it did. And yeah, it does. One of three costs. Loading up. Top of Coco VMAX. Okay. Draw into a balloon. But to be honest, I don't think I want to put it on the Cricket Tune yet. Because I might need to move other stuff around. I'm just going to run to this. I'm going to keep the balloon. I think the value of keeping the balloon around is a little bit higher than having it in play and drawing the extra card of Cricket Tune right now. We have no grass in our deck. Oh my gosh. And I think our other Ordinary Rod is prized. Oh no. This is not good. Uh, we're going to start loading up the Mewtwo. But we're definitely going to need this this uh, Route Long Executive to do some work action now. We're like out of grass energy completely. Uh, <laughs> now Mewtwo can attack with Vile Plume or even like the Crushing Punch to still do something. But it does need two grass energy to get to like the Elegant Soul or the... Um, calming hurricane attack so we need to try and knock out one of these boltons to try and get there um or i guess we could get like if we can get the vile plume in the discard pile that would also be like fine all right they put this grass back in the deck for us so now we can thin it out with the voltage i had this mountain lana in hand which means uh now that they're going to paralyze us this turn we do need to find it and this hand is not going to be very good at finding it to be honest it's actually a this hand is terrible at finding it uh, but they attached active actually so it looks like they're going with attack active i guess they probably didn't have a switch which would make sense. So now we can knock out this Bolton, and then all we need is to go boss KO this Bolton, and that's it. That's game. Sets us up super cleanly to get the dub, and that's going to be our route to take. We do need to find some energy. They could possibly heal it with a Malolana as well, which means we need that double grass, but hopefully we get the Ordinary Rod out of our prize cards here when we knock out this Bolton, and just puts us in a decent spot. All right, there's their Coco. Just one energy to the Coco. Makes sense. Yeah, Bolt Storm going down. That's fine draw quick fall away the dragonite not gonna grab anything and then i'm gonna quick fall away the thwacky as well not gonna grab anything again uh rillaboom out that grass energy to the mewtwo and then we will quick tune for two need some extra cards to work with god i'm already kind of want to play it because it gives us more stuff to work with and it limits my opponent's hand size even though boss is kind of game for me here um i would rather have 
see a little bit more, I think. Okay, big charm here. And yeah, calming hurricane gets the knockout. Heal 30, 30 yards. Unfortunately, not enough to get us out of range from that max shock. So we will be going down next turn. What is this? A grass energy. That's basically all we really need, to be honest. Wondrous Labyrinth was prized, actually. I thought I saw it in the deck, but that was maybe last game. So if they do have another power plant here, we have an out to the power plant. We have the grass, so we can actually use an attack next turn. Because Vileplume was actually going to be really hard to get into the discard pile here. We're down both the Denes, which are discard outs, and then we only have one quick ball left. So it'd be actually really hard to get the Vileplume in the discard pile. Here comes that reset stamp, but this is where the Cricket Tune shines, uh, is when these reset stamps happen. Max Shock. Okay, I'm going to set up Cricket Tune here. Uh, wait, do I have game here, actually? Do I have a boss in here? I do have game here, I think. Eldegoss is in the deck. Grass is in the deck now. So we got game. We can knock out this Bolton. So let's just do it. Send this thing up. Quick ball away this. Goss for boss. The classic. Voltage beat out of grass. I don't think I have a two energy attack I could use to KO the Bolton, but I'm actually not 100% sure. Okay, get the boss. Boss up the Bolton, and that is it. That is the dub. Uh, Elegant Soul, why not? Sure, doesn't matter. Um, oh, I guess we could have attached this weakness guard energy and used Incineroar. That also works. But we get it up here. Taking down quite a few VMAXs. A couple Dragapults. One of those had Urshifu, and then this Coco. Can't hang with the Boom Mewtwo, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.